exciting part of our trip, which is exploring the city of Athens, where there are many historical spots from years and years ago. We are currently in front of the parliament wherein we can witness these soldiers or the, the so-called F-Stones who guards the monument of the unknown soldier. For our first day in this city, we are having a day tour guided by a tour guide wherein we are going to explore the different tourist attractions at this place. of 18 Ager Alexander the Great, which is a militaristic symbolism right in front of the central spot in Athens. After that, we sighted the Temple of Olympian Zeus, which is built to honor Zeus, the king of gods of Olympus. And right in front of it is the Ark of Hadrian. Right inside these narrow streets is the way up to the Acropolis, which is the main highlight of this tour. The weather is sunny and windy at the same time. We first purchased a ticket which costs 20 euros. And we are now inside. Look at the majestic view of the city of Athens. which is a 2nd century theater built into the hillside. With just a few steps, we are now going to reach the most famous and most exciting part in Acropolis, which is the Parthenon. It was built between 447 and 438 BC, the city's golden age, as a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena Parthenos. Parthenon, uh, great uh, history, history, Athena. <laughs> the city of Athens. So we're going back. Wow, so beautiful are you. We rested for a while after the tour and had a dinner to end the day. Today is a brand new day with a whole lot of new adventures waiting for us. But first, I took my morning coffee to wake me up and get me ready. the bus on the way to the port because today we are going to be cruising we are now on board and the cruise to the island where we are going to visit is about two hours so there are free snacks and wi-fi provided in the boat and we finally arrived we are now here at hydra island which is one of the surrounding islands of greece we are now disembarked and i tried a tiramisu gelato this island is home to architectures such as exquisite stone mansions and cobblestone streets you can also shop by their local and high-end boutiques ride mules or donkeys swim by the beaches and eat at restaurants we 
are now on our way back to the hotel and it's going to be another two hours cruise but the wind is so amazing and I just enjoyed the scenery and trip. It is now our time to eat dinner and after such, we went to the rooftop of the hotel to relax and enjoy the night. It is now our fourth day in this beautiful city of Athens and today is a little more subtle where I had the time to enjoy the hotel's bathtub. And our activity later on is to go to a very classic and cultural restaurant. I tried different local foods from Greece and it was so fun because I really felt their heritage. After the dinner, we had the time to roam around the Plaka, which is a street where there are many great restaurants and it is Athens' central shopping district. And did you know that Plaka is the oldest district in Athens, built at the foothill of the Acropolis, with picturesque neoclassical houses and mainly pedestrian streets? It is now our last day in the city and for our lunch, we ordered by our room service and we had an American hamburger. Our scheduled activity for the day is dinner so we had time to lay in bed during the day. We were welcomed by a band wearing Greek costumes and we are currently at the Zapian Hall which was used as the main fencing hall hosting matches in its atrium during the first modern Olympics in 1896. for us. We spent the last night by walking down the street in front of our hotel and the parliament taking pictures and videos and after that we packed our things because we are getting ready for our next destination.